how to add image library to your products on Shopify. If you have numerous designs to showcase and prefer not to create separate product pages for each one, or if you wish to provide your customers with a variety of appealing images for them to choose from, enhancing their options, then an image library is an essential feature for you. So let's have a look at the product. So we have a product uh, over here and we have four categories, car, cycle, bike, vans. So customer has a lot of images to choose from. Uh, also, if they want to search a specific image and they don't want to go through all the images that are there, they can just type the uh, type the name. So just to make it more uh, faster, I have just uh, selected like one, two, three, four names as one, two, three, four. So if I type one, the names with um, one will appear over here. So you can see they all have uh, text one. If I type two, only two will appear. So it doesn't matter what category you have selected, you just search it over here and all the images will be shown. So if you have uh, images, for example, for aquatic life or fishes. So if a, if a customer types a specific fish name and you have that fish, the customer will see the images from here. Or they can also select from the category. So now I'll show you how to, how to set this up. The first step is to install the live product options app from the Shopify app store. The link is in the description. Now let's move ahead to Shopify admin panel, go to apps and live product options. Once you have completed the onboarding process, you will land on the homepage. I have already adjusted the settings, but if you are new, you can click on new product options. For now, I'll show you the settings. So in product targeting, you have two choices, single product and multiple products. Now let's move to product options, click on add products and select image library in the type section. You have uh, many types to select from. For example, image switches, button switches, color switches, checkbox, radio button. But for now, we are going to select uh, image library. You can select the name and label. So label is this one. If I change the label, select image, it will change it over here. And this is the name of the option. So you can click as required or pop-up window. So in the pop-up window, select image. This will look like uh, this. So a pop-up window will appear. Like if you click on select images and then you uh, click on, you have the categories or you can search for the images. And if you don't want the pop-up uh, window, you can just deselect and it will automatically appear over here. You can also choose the category grid. You also have category grid. So if you click on the category grid, it will uh, show you like this. So you can click on cycle and only cycle will appear, show categories and then click on cars, then show categories and the customer will click on bikes or any other option. So I won't select this. I'll keep it default. Uh, you have the library column. So it, it says, uh, it means like how many images will show on uh, the column for the desktop and for the mobile. This is the image height, uh, height, you can select the images and you can also select the images per page. So how you can list all this uh, is through ca adding category. So you click on add category, you type the value, for example, van, we have vans, we have, we can type here plane, plane and select uh, the from, select from the list. How to create a list, I'll show you in a while. Uh, if you don't want these uh, in category, you can directly select a specific link so i have created a link which is images which have all the images so you don't need to create a separate category if you wish uh, to create a category you can or you just directly select from the list so there are two options now how to create a list i'll show you how you can add a list and add images to your list just go to product uh, options app click on assets so you can create a folder 
click on new folder name the folder for example van i'll click on create okay so van is already already exists pla and plane i'll create it for a plane and then go to the folder and click on upload file and drag and drop all the images that you have so it will create a list of all the images and from the folder how you can create it to a list uh for by adding all uh, the images over here this will show like this so i've created a list of all the images over here after adding all the images just click on create list from folder so this option will cre uh, create a list from the folder you already have so you can see i have all the images so if you want to change for example this van you can name it as van or a specific model for example a Volkswagen van or something like that so the customer can easily search for it after creating the list just click on save list uh, i cannot save this because i already have this list so this is a very easy way to create a list just go to assets and create a folder uh, drop all your images to that folder and go to the folder and click on create a uh, list from the folder very easy steps i'll get back to the image library again so these are from the categories i'll show you how it looks uh, from the list so i'll deselect all the categories over here all the categories will be disappeared in a while and i can click on list and i can list all the images at once so now i have all the images over here it looks like a button so if you want uh, it to be like image you can just click on category grid so this will look like this or if you want a pop up window you can just click on the pop up window and now you can select the images from here so this is it for the image library so the image library for your product is done i have used the live product options app so check out the live product options on shopify app store link is in the description it offers real time custom product previews for your online store super easy to install and great for personalized item it's a game changer for any ecom site if you have any questions let me know in the comments and see you in the next video